Okay, so this is my idea for a capacitive slider to control a string of near pixel LEDs. Uh, the LEDs I've got are contained in this tube here. Um, there's 44 of them all together. They're actually running on an Arduino Mega that you can see there using the standard capacitive sensing library by Peter Badger. Um, and you can see the red, orange, and blue wires are the capacitive sensing pins there. The orange is the reference, and the blue and red are the two sensors. Uh, the red and black traditional giving power which is just coming from a little battery pack there and the green wire is the data that controls the near pixels on the breadboard here you can see the blue orange and red wires I've tried to keep the same pinouts as it were the same arrangement for ease of viewing the resistors between the pins are one mega ohm and the resistors in line I think are 1k can't remember but that's what was recommended just to protect against power spikes and here, uh, I really apologise for this, I have my excellent rubber band connectors. Um, <laughs> they just work, okay? Um, the capacitive slider itself is copper foil, it's the slug tape stuff that I've cut into this pattern. You can see there's one rail that runs down the side there, and there's another rail that's actually exactly the same. And they're just offset in this pattern, so that as you slide your finger on, you're making the contacts in a specific order. I'll explain that somewhere on the Arduino forums if people are interested. So I'm just going to move the iPad up here now, make sure I get everything in view, show you how it hopefully works. Plug the power in. You can see the lights come on red, that's it taking a background level with nothing touching it, which is all annotated in the serial monitor. And then it asks you to touch one green light, which is actually on one sensor panel one blue light and then to put your finger between them so that one finger touches both contacts it won't come on again until you take your finger off because it's actually sensing in the background that your input has stopped when you do take your finger off it lights up to show the calibration has hopefully worked because this is a moment of truth what you can now do is light the red the line up just by sliding your finger along and it went a little bit screwy there it's because my finger isn't actually contacting both contacts Half the fact that it works is because it's a pole, so you do just have to get your finger in line where both contacts overlap. And it will go the other way, and it's really quite sensitive. I'll just run through that again, reset it, red, taking a background level. I think that didn't work particularly well because I touched the blue contact when I was testing the green one. You do have to be careful of that. So green, making sure you're really only touching the green one. Blue, making sure you're only touching the blue one. Both together, lights up to say it's calibrated. Hopefully, this time we'll get a better result. That's more like it. I've obviously got a dodgy contact around here somewhere. Uh, they're not under any film at the moment, putting them under some clear tape or something like that should improve performance because you're not actually contacting them directly. But as to the effect I was trying to achieve with a little bit of theatrical showmanship. I think you can pull that off. Thanks to everyone who helped, particularly Tony, who seemed to spend an inordinate amount of time doing his own version, which I'm sure would work as well. I shall test it at some point. Uh, thanks even to the people who said it couldn't be done. You know who you are. Bye.